Hello, and welcome to iRage. I am Ross, and today I'm doing a colorizer's guide thing from Jig on Megabyte Punch, as I can only find pictures and I can't find any videos, so it's probably me being very, 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 very inept at actually looking through YouTube. But anyway, this is going to be a very rough guide. I'll do my best. No guarantees, though. But let's get started. Anyway, after the tutorial, you end up here, and if you literally run straight left, first house, boosh, go in, You'll have this lovely little plant guy. Drop down into the bottom, smash a couple of blocks, and then there'll be a door in the corner that doesn't have an outline. In here, you break a couple more blocks, jump up, and there is your colorizer. Locked away. How'd you do it? There. Just be aware there is a hole, so you've got to keep make sure that you do jump the whole way across. Otherwise, you won't get your colorizer, and you'll be crying. And there it is. Conquistador in the hidden door. Another bit yellow and red one there. The next one is in the very far left, right at the top, well, nearly right at the top. Down this little thing, in a little barrel, destroy the barrel, I don't know if it does any damage. Down this little invisible hole, and there you go, your second colour. Beta blue. Next up is in your house. Pretty straightforward, to be honest, I think most people probably would have found this one. Strawberry strike, just up in your rafters, lovely. Fourth one you can get is in the shop. Admittedly, I was a bit shit, so I had to upgrade myself a bit just so I could get up there, but up in the roof of this one is your next one. Midnight Shock. Anyway, Electro Caves. This is first one, stage one. Drop down a little hole just before you see the arrows. You eventually come to this little bit, work your way through it, if you're not as shit as me. Or you could just use your drill part, but after going through, you'll eventually get to this little point where you've got to have a fight, kill the guy, drop down into the little side bit there, and poof! Next one. Mega Mint. Uh, stage 2, right at the very end. You've got to have a drill part for this one, I might add. Right at the last door, drill through the wall, jump through the things. You see, I've probably already gone through there and I accidentally already collected it, but it will be sat right there. Blue Cookie. Oh, red. And the next one, stage 3, I believe. Easy to go to that point where you blow up the wall, drop down, go back, keep just scat running back as far as you can go. Obviously not doing that, but again, if you've got a drill part, you can just literally rip through the level. And go down, you find a mine, blow up the wall, have another little fight, and then you'll find a couple of mines hidden in the wall there. At uh, which point you will then collect your se seventh? Seventh colour? Blorange. Lovely. Anyway, um, what's this? Meg Megaclopolis? As soon as you get to the first point, right at the top, you'll get outside, just jump up, and boosh, there it is, lethal impact. Then number two, right at the end, this one, I kind of did it a bit backwards recording wise but uh, Killer Grey I think that one is Killer's Grey but yeah once again end of the level just backtrack a bit to this left and poof Killer's Grey probably one of the nicer ones and then right at the start of stage 3 bear right bear right go up and keep going up 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 up, up and poosh one of my personal favourites Electro Circus Next up is the Lost Temple thing. It's like this one's right at the start, stage one. It's a little bit hidden. I only accidentally found it by doing a mine, but using my jumps, my triple jumps, my flight, and my drill, I managed to get all the way up there. But there it is, right at the top. But this literally is right at the start, r really high up in the air, so you've got to have like a couple of pieces for it. But Meteor Yellow. Now this one sucked. After you fight the big metal snake in stage two, you eventually have to go through this little obstacle course, and obviously this is me being utterly shit at it. Obviously if you can work your way through it, with preferably not doing that, but you will more than likely be doing that all the time. But eventually you get to the end and there it is. Reptile something? Was it reptile? Swift reptile. There we are. Lovely and green. Uh, this one is also on stage two. I think it's towards the end of the level. Just as you get towards the end where all you got like all the little floating blocks, you'll eventually find one at the top with all these little wooden platforms, you just work your way up and poof. Bureaucratica. Stage three. This one you need definitely need a drill part as this area is locked off by a lot of mud. I'm just showing you three various routes to go through and get it, but if you just look for a just a massive chunk of mud dirt, just drill your way through it and poof. Sweet revenge. And then this last one, number 15 for what I'm showing you, is the secret hidden one, where you can actually get the legendary arm part. Down by level 3, you jump up through the wall and drop in. Now in here, if you kill all the mobs, 
back at that door you'll get the legendary arm part but if you just bear left and keep going left and up as high as you can go dodging as many of these dicks as you can because they're actually quite difficult you'll find a venom magnetizer anyway thank you for watching the next 15 will be up whenever really bye